Planet and welcome everyone to Blaugrana Planet welcome back to a new video and today we are exposing Mr. Javier Tebas or actually La Porta and Football Club Barcelona is exposing Javier Tebas because we are getting the green light the green light to register Jules Kunde after two weeks of La Liga and now it seems that Barcelona was right. Barcelona was right. We should have registered Kunde as soon as he arrived and not two weeks later. Barcelona could even take legal actions against Mr. Javier Tebas and La Liga. It can happen. And we're all gonna talk about it today. We're also gonna talk about Frankie de Jong, the possibility of Abomeyang leaving as well and now with all these deals with all these registrations going on with this exception that La Liga is apparently now making what pieces of the puzzle we can be moving Bernardo Silva Juan Foyth we'll talk about it all today guys so make sure you smash the like button and subscribe to the channel guys is important and hit the bell notifications um, let me drop the chat, forgot about the chat, um, let me drop the chat for you guys, give me one second, because it's important, I want to see the community rolling in with the live chat, there it is, alright, moving on guys, Javier Tebas, as I said, Barcelona has exposed Javier Tebas, and we're going to talk all about it in this video today, because Juan Laporta never gave up, and in fact, we did talk about it in this channel guys, we did talk about it in this channel. How Laporta said and thought that everything was correct. Check it out. It's this video, actually. If you go to the channel, guys, it's this video right here. Barca's financials are on track. After a few videos. Huh? Of course, this was like three weeks ago. Barcelona already thought that everything was on track. But yet, but yet... Mr. Javier Tebas said, wait a second, wait a second. It seems that these numbers are not matching up for myself. That's when Juan Laporta decided to appeal. Up to three times we had to appeal because we have Koundé waiting to be registered. Jules Koundé, one of the biggest signings Barcelona has done in the last years. Most promising, I'd say. Barcelona had to appeal up to three times. Guys, three times. So, who did we appeal to? Not La Liga, okay? We actually did appeal to a committee related to La Liga, but it's not, it's not directly La Liga, but it's people that are La Liga experts, and it's a committee that's somehow within the organization of La Liga. It's not directly La Liga. So we appealed twice, okay? To different committees, somewhat within relation to La Liga. Both of these appeals, were taken down. Barcelona has still way to go. One third appeal, but this third appeal was done directly to the Spanish Federation, a groupation related to the Spanish Federation. We do have good relationship with the Spanish Federation, guys. And it seems that it's gonna be a positive outcome. The outcome is not already done. This, this aggrupation related to the Federation hasn't yet given us the green light. But we are very close, guys. We are very, very close of getting the results. And according to Gerard Romero, according to Sport, according to even other sources, Barcelona is going to be getting the green light to register Jules Koundé. It is not yet registered, okay? Not yet registered, but we are going to be getting the green light, okay? Until when does Barca have time to register Koundé? That is a good question. Well, Barcelona has time until 6 p.m. on Sunday. That's one hour and a half, one hour and 30 minutes before the game against Valladolid in Camp Nou. By the way, we're going to be going there. So Barcelona are against the clock. Tebas tried to boycott Football Club Barcelona because Barcelona said, look, we, are, we know these numbers. We have calculated these numbers ourselves. But it seems that not even La Liga, not even La Liga can uh, rearrange these numbers. And they put Barcelona in a very difficult situation. After these appeals, imagine, imagine we go 
against all odds and this third appeal gets also take, taken down. Barcelona can still appeal to the normal justice, to the Spanish justice, but it will be very slow, very, very slow. Maybe we could get like some sort of agreement with the Spanish justice, but I don't think this is going to happen, guys. I think that this third uh, appeal is going to go through and we're going to be able to register Kunde. This is what all the journalists are saying right now. Tebas, you have been exposed. And that's why Barcelona could consider taking legal actions against Javier Tebas. Because we have played two games already. We could have maybe won against uh, Rayo Vallecano. But we didn't. We didn't. We had Kunde, not registered. And maybe because of you, Javier Tebas. La Liga has one of the strictest financial fair play rules. One of the strictest. But these people, Javier Tebas and company, I swear, sometimes they have bad intentions. It seems like they do have bad intentions. Because this is not normal. This is certainly not normal, what they have done. Madrid, they always get you know away with stuff. And I know Javier Tebas. Is a, is, a, is a big Madridista, big Madridista. He even confessed it himself many times to the public media. He is a big Madridista, Javier Tebas. How can we live with a Madridista being the president of this league? It's unbearable, it's unbearable. By the way, guys, by the way, let me mention quickly that you guys can register as new members of Blaugrana Planet and you will help um, support the channel if you actually click join here. You will be able to become a member of Laguna Planet and get several perks. Of course, little emojis and medals and of course, uh, mentions directly. There are several packets, guys. Uh, make sure to check it out and feel free to support the channel. It'll be a pleasure to, to join, to have you. We already have several members and we are very thankful for that. Moving on, guys. Aubameyang to Chelsea. The operation will still be going through. Barcelona is trying to finish the negotiations. We want to finish it off. Of course, we want somewhere close to 30 million euro. Somewhere close to 30 million euro. I think we will get there. This will give us oxygen. I know we don't need to sell Aubameyang. But I have a feeling. I have a strong feeling. If we do sell Aubameyang and we get the salary reduction from Frankie de Jong, which by the way, apparently today the agent, and this is news from Maske Pelotas, from our buddies from Maske Pelotas, according to the, to, the, to the sources, the agent of Frankie de Jong would have requested Football Club Barcelona to give a proposal, a salary reduction proposal, because Frankie de Jong would have decided to stay. Can we include here the departure of Aubameyang, so saving the salary plus the revenues, the possibly 25 million euro revenue for the transfer fee, saving the salary, and then the reduction of Frenkie de Jong. Obviously, this would affect the amortizations of, uh, of the contract and will help a lot to reduce the wage bill. A lot, a lot. Could this be an effect to bring, of course, Juan Foyt, which I, I am certain he would come if Aubameyang leaves, but also, but also, Bernardo Silva himself. Can it happen, guys? You know what? I've been, and you guys know it, people that watch me, uh, that, that watch my live streams and that watch my videos, they know me. I have said that the, the deal of Bernardo Silva is not gonna happen, but man, Looking at how this changes, everything changes, bam, 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 one day, bim, bam, Barcelona. It's insane. It's alive. The club is alive. There's always something happening in Barcelona. And looking how Barcelona, um, Mateo Alemán, Jordi Cruyff, they acted in this transfer market, we pretty much signed Koundé when he, when he was signed for Chelsea. He was already signed for Chelsea. We made the last minute ring, last minute call and boom, suddenly we hijacked Koundé. I know Pep Guardiola said today. Pep Guardiola said today that uh, 
Bernardo Silva is going to stay, there is no offer, etc., etc. Even Ferran Soliano, the CEO of, um, of Man City, also said the same. There's no offer, the, there's nothing, there's no talks. Yet, yet, Barcelona is still moving strings, still looking for the pieces, the pieces of the puzzle. I believe, I now believe, if we get rid of Aubameyang, by the way, Memphis Depay could stay, but we could also get Bernardo Silva. Explosive transfer deal. Let the numbers play out. I think that it can happen, guys. I really believe now. I have a lot of doubts. I had a lot of doubts. By the way, 278 people watching, only 99 likes, guys. Smash the like button. Uh, Larissa, thank you so much for, for your comment. Guys, smash the like button because it's important. It's important. It's important. We need we need to start trending. Moving on, guys. There were rumors today. Rumors on the possibility of incorporating another right back. We, we talked about Juan Foyz. We talked about Monier. Um, now, Hamari Traoré. Captain of Rennes. Captain of Rennes. Check it out. I actually have his transfer market right here. Valued at 10 million euro, Barcelona think they can get it for cheaper. Okay, he's a 30 year old player, and he is uh, he's a starter there in Rennes. Obviously, he's the captain, a pure right back. Can also play in the left in the left back, but it's not going to happen. Contract expiring in about a year. Okay, that's the reason why we can get him for cheap, 30 year old age, and uh, Hamari Traoré, another option for the right back position. You guys let me know what you think about all of this, because I, I prefer Juan Foyt, to be honest. He knows La Liga, he played against Bayern, they beat Bayern, uh, last Champions League, Villarreal. So careful with that, guys, careful with that. By the way, you guys can check me out on, on, on Twitter, yeah, at Blaugrana Planet. Check me out on Twitter because I have tons of stuff, comments, we are here and we do make uh, a lot of uh, nice, quick comments that you are not gonna find on, on Instagram, either in, on YouTube, etc., etc. So guys, make sure to check that out. Make sure to check that out. So, hold a second, my phone was ringing, sorry about that. So as always, let's make the Q quick Q&A, guys. Uh, I'm looking forward to your questions and uh, smash the like button, subscribe, of course, make sure to do that. And let's start the Q&A session with the people here. So make sure to drop your comment and I'll be happy to answer. All right. Um, Mark Levinson says, we're not getting Bernardo. Okay, so hell, Pep said he is staying, right? But as I said, guys, I explained myself, right? I think Barcelona um, can make a last minute call. He can make a last minute call, Barcelona. John David says, but we're on a planet. Did Tebas get reelected? When will we have a president? That's a good question, John David. David Tebas actually cannot get reelected anymore. But what this man is doing, there is a legal loophole that he is resigning before his mandate ends so he can present himself uh, again because his mandate hasn't concluded. Therefore, it's a legal loophole and this is how Tebas is still managing La Liga. It's, it, it cannot happen like this. this. This can't happen again. We are getting cheated on. We're getting, we're getting uh, scammed. You know what I mean? Carlton says, uh, Alex, during your last stream, I said that something bad is cooking for Tebas. So let it be. Man, Carlton, the visionary. Alexan Alexandro says, where's the Man City VIP vlog? Man, uh, in fact, I've been so busy, I, I couldn't edit it. I couldn't edit it. It's still there on my phone. I need to edit it. I will upload it probably tomorrow, guys. I'm sorry and thank you for your patience, but I'm doing everything I can. There's a lot of things happening and I said to myself, or I upload the vlog today or I expose Tebas. Uh, we, we talk about the exposure of Tebas. Uh, I finally chose the exposure of Tebas because I think it's, it's important, you guys know it, and I think this is the right channel. This is the right channel. Because, you know, I could talk, I could just talk about simple news. No, no. Here we go deep. Here we go, we get the insights. Here we filter the information. Here we know what we're saying about the club. And this is your channel, guys. Remember, I do this for you guys, the community, the Blaugrana Planet community. Smash the like button, guys. 133 likes. Pump it to 2 million likes. Let's go. I know we can do it. All right, all right, all right, all right. I see the chat is rolling in nicely. Okay. 
Uh, Allen says, what about Memphis? Memphis seems that he's gonna stay. And I, I would agree with Memphis stay. Um, Mujarki says, smash the like button. Um, Carlton says, smash the like button to, Teva, to expose Teva. <laughs> Murali says, can we beat Bayern? I think we can, of course. I have full confidence. Uh, Bafo says, so who should be our best center back um, pair? So th that's a good question. Center back pair. Um, I think Araujo Kunde, Christiansen Kunde, Christiansen Araujo for big games. Game against um, game against um, Bayern de Munich. I play Christiansen Kunde Araujo and Araujo on the right back position for sure. Uh, we need your Tebas out banner. You know what? Good idea. Good idea, my friend. Good idea. Webster says. When are we registering Kunde? Probably about tonight. Tonight or tomorrow. Remember, guys, we still have until 6 p.m. on Sunday. 6, 6 p.m. Paint Pan says, funny man, United fans uh, were saying the young to United is done just for him to reduce his salary to stay at Barca. Right, Alex? I mean, we always knew the, the young wanted to stay. This was clear. This was so clear for us. So, the young. Thank you for staying and thank you for considering to reduce your salary. It helps a lot. I understand Frankie de Jong has a contract. I understand all of this. But it's an ethical contract, guys. The, the club is in danger. And I know we made big investments, but we also sold part of the clubs to make these big investments. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? We are putting the club in risk and a bit. Obviously, the revenues that we're going to be lacking due to the, 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 the selling of these parts of the business that we sold, the, the levers, is not much. But it's certainly parts of the business that we're giving away. Parts of the business that we're giving away. Daniel Jacob says, Captain's taking a pay cut. It could happen. It can happen, but I don't think it's going to be determinant. Noel says, Do you think Bernardo Silva will come to Barcelona? I talked about it. Uh, maybe scroll back a little bit. Um, I, be I believe there's now possibilities. Good possibilities. Barcelona will go all in. Once we sell Abomeyang, once we finish a few things here and there, of course, uh, maybe even Braithwaite could be leaving, Re reducing the salary of Frenkie de Jong. Barca will go all in for uh, Bernardo Silva, last minute transfer. Oh boy, that would be explosive, explosive. 11th uh, crowd says, if Frenkie de Jong reduces his salary at the very end of the window, that only means uh, he did not want Bernardo Silva to come, just making sure of that. I mean, I don't think um, Frank De Jong would not want Bernardo Silva to come. I, I don't think so. I think they could do a good pair. Um, Larissa, Larissa Lumba says, Hi Alex, you said yesterday that Premier League is the best league right now. What do you think it, it will take to La for La Liga to return to the top? Ban, Petro States and oligarchs from owning Premier League teams? I mean, that's impossible. We cannot ban Petro States and oligarch uh, from, uh, from owning uh, Premier League teams. What does it take? It takes to, to, to get rid of Tebas. That's the first step. Get rid of Tebas. Once we have gotten rid of Tebas, then we can move. Then we can start creating a healthy financial fair play rule. Not something that asphyxiates the clubs. Not something that, that makes us pull a thousand levers in order to sign players. Not that. Certainly a more friendly president of La Liga. Um, thank you for your donation, by the way. Um, is Alonso deal still on? And are we getting a right back? The Alonso deal is now frozen, okay? It's frozen. Right now frozen. I don't think it's gonna go through. Barcelona is exploring other alternatives and Alejandro Valde is certainly standing out, clearly. I bet on Alejandro Valde. Um, Mujekre says, put a like on Tebas and smash it. Yeah, guys, smash the likes, exactly. Esiao says, Alex, do you think we will follow up on denouncing Tebas? We will see, we will see. I have my doubts, guys, I have my doubts. If all of this, you know, ends up being nothing, maybe we could file a, a complaint and we will see how it moves. Tebas is certainly doing the wrong moves here and there. First of all, I remember when he was criticizing Barcelona for pulling the levers and saying that that uh, we will never be able to sign Lewandowski and uh, that the club is in ruin. This is, these were public statements from Tebas, guys. Public statements against the club. 
You are the president of La Liga, Tebas. The president of La Liga. And yet you're making these crappy comments against the clubs of La Liga. Against one of the biggest clubs in the world. That's in your league. The league that you are president of. How, how, how stupid do you gotta be? How stupid? It's, it's incredible. This guy is... is, is, is ah, can't, can't stand the guy. Can't stand the guy. Teva should be the president of the Premier League. <laughs> Carlton, we're gonna send Tebas to the Premier League. We're gonna send him money. We'll make a favor. What about Javi Galan? Guys, look. This is the situation, guys. Barcelona is probably closing agreements with several players. Okay, several players. Why? Because they want to have options. And whenever we have the margin, whenever we can actually sign somebody, then we will trigger one of the options. And we will decide. We have now agreements with Alonso, with Javi Galan, with possibly uh, Foyth, etc. etc. Thank you for your donation, uh, my friend. You're, you're a very humble guy. Unfortunately, I cannot read your name. But says, are we getting a right back this summer? I think that we will. I think that it all depends on the departure of... Um, of uh, Abomeyang. That's gonna give us huge, huge, huge financial fair play margin and also this this last appeal that finally gives us the green light. Because if we get the green light in the appeal, not only we will be able to register Kunde, but we will also be able to register the right back. Apparently this is what the, the numbers are showing us. And he asks again, is it true we're getting Gaia in January? I have not um, not been exposed to this kind of news and it's not gonna happen. I believe Gaia is gonna stay in Valencia. In fact, um, he was getting ovations the other day, so it's their captain and it's not gonna happen. All right, guys, we're, we're, gonna, we're gonna have to finish it off. Uh, guys, send your last questions. Remember, remember to smash the like button. It's been a, a good stream. S subscribe to the channel, smash the like button. Of course, hit the bell notification so you get notified uh, as soon as, as I release the, the next live stream, the next video. And I'm going to be reading the last questions, guys. Thank you so much. Says Barry. Barry says, um, Alex, did you think Barcelona can top Bayern, uh, Bayern Munich in Champions League? Of course, I think we can. We have a super team, guys. The last thing I'm going to lose is my is the confidence and is the is the spirit. Um, all right. Uh, pum, pum, pum. Mark. Mark says, Alex, apparently Real Betis still hasn't registered their five players. Uh, I mean... This is what I mean, guys. This is what I mean. Uh, this is what I mean. The, 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 the situation of the fi financial fair play in the whole La Liga is a disaster. Tebas is, is, is not managing the La Liga right. And, and guys, I see people mentioning the vlog. Guys, I'm going to be uploading the vlog tomorrow. I'm so sorry about the delay. Uh, I know you guys want to watch it. I want to edit it. I want to upload it. Uh, tomorrow will be uploaded uh, during the midday. You can have uh, my word on that. I know I know. yesterday I said today, but, but then all of this happened and I had to make a video about this. So, guys, thank you so much. Uh, um, mm, mm, mm. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Guys, thank you, thank you, everyone, for joining. 282 people watching right now. Smash the like buttons. I know we can take it to the moon. And you guys are amazing people, great community, guys. Remember, remember, you guys can become a member of the Blaugrana Planet um, community just by going to the YouTube channel and clicking the um, button join and you will be right, redirected to the several packages here. For example, Ricky Puch packet, the Young packet, uh, Lewi packet, Messi packet. Uh, and you get several perks and of course uh, you get uh, my appreciation, my deep appreciation. I will be so thankful if you guys do that and of course check me out on uh, Twitter where you can find me on Blaugrana Planet. Twitter, great source of, uh, of little commentaries, different stuff and uh, you guys will enjoy it. I'm sure that you guys will enjoy it because it's, it, it's, it's just great. I have a lot of fun on Twitter. It's very different to Instagram, to YouTube and it's, it's little quick commentaries and uh, you guys know how i am you guys know how i am so guys make sure to check all of that and uh thank you everyone for joining subscribe hit the bell notifications and now and as i always say pisca el barça pisca catalunya and see you in the next video